In this video, I will be installing an Reprise License Manager server, or RLM. This is used to host floating licenses. This is something an IT person in your organization would normally do, not an application end user. And you do not need an RLM server if you are using individual licenses. This is only for floating or other centrally managed licenses. So the page with the instructions is on the screen right now configuring an RLM server on wiki.analytica.com and I will simply be following the instructions that are listed there. Today I'm installing RLM version 15. The instructions may change in future versions and I found that version 15 is particularly difficult to install so that makes the video kind of useful. But everything I'm doing is on this set of instructions. The first thing you need to do is create a new account to run RLM in, and it has to be a non-admin account. To do that, I'm going to launch Computer Management, and we're going to select Users, and we're going to right-click and hit New User. I'll name the user RLM User, a non-admin account for running the RLM service. Now you might wonder why aren't we using a service account for a service? And the answer is starting in V15, the RLM service is not allowed to run in a service account. You have to actually have a non-admin user for it. We'll set a password here. So we've created that user. Now we need to create some folders where we're going to put everything. Let's open up File Manager here. And on the C drive, I am going to create a new folder. Oops, try that again. Um, on Windows 11, it can be tricky to find the new folder option. Here it is. We're going to name it Reprise. Now, you might say, well, why put stuff in program files? Well, starting with version 15, you can't install the Reprise software into program files anymore. It also doesn't work if you go into program data or, and there's reasons that it wouldn't work if you went into your own user uh, local directories. So you really need to create a new directory for it. And this directory has to be read and writable by the RLM user that we just created. So right click on Reprise, hit Properties, go into Security, hit Edit, select Users. Actually, you really want it to be read and writable by everybody because you may need to look at things in that directory or add files to it later when you're operating in practice. So make it full control for all users. And then create a subdirectory where we will keep licenses, license files. We'll call it licenses. Okay. Let's scroll down to the instruction. We've created a new user. We have created the folders and we set the permissions to be readable. Now we're going to actually get the Reprise License Manager software. So we'll go to Reprise's website and we find the Windows 64 bit installer and download it and run it. Now their installer is not digitally signed, so you get this message uh, warning screen and you have to run anyway and click through a few warning messages. And what you want to do is you want to install it into that directory we just created and we'll call it RLM server in a subdirectory. Install. It installs quickly. Okay, back up here. Now, next thing is you want to get this Lumina.set file if you're using Lumina's licenses or a similar file from whatever ISP vendor you're using if you're doing this for ISVs other than Lumina. And we want to navigate to that same 
folder um, that we just installed stuff in and put that file there as lumina.set. Okay, now we're going to need to do a few things in a command line window, an administrator command line window. So to get there, what you do is click on the Windows button, type CMD. When it says command prompt, right click on it and select run as administrator. Okay, and now CD into that folder that we just created and go down the instructions here. Um, okay, so the first thing we need to do is this line right here, echo admin colon colon all into rlm.pw. This sets an, a user named admin with no initial password, but all permissions into RLM. And then we install the service using this line. Okay, so the dlog, rlm.log, is a file that will log transactions. The minus C are, is the directory where licenses will be held. The minus Z means that we're going to allow it to run without having a password. You don't have to include the minus Z. And install service installs the service. So that succeeded. Now we need to tell the service to run under the RLM user account. Right now it would run under the system service account and RLM would not actually function the way we want it to um, with version 15. So you have to do this extra step here. You pull up the services. So hit your Windows button, type services. And scroll down to find the RLM service that we just installed. Double click on it. Go to the login tab. Hit this account and put in that you want this to run as the RLM user and enter the password that you uh, set when you created that user. Okay, hit apply. Then go to the general tab and start the service. Okay, so let's start the service. So the RLM service is now running. So the next step is to go to the actual admin panel. Okay, so that came up, and what you want to do is clear out this password. There's actually no password, so we clear that, and then we log. And you can see it's logged in as admin. If you don't use that minus Z option, then you'll want to you need to change your password immediately at this point, which you can do anyway. And if things worked out right, you should see the activate license button and the diagnostics button. And one other thing you should check is click on system info. And you should make sure that it says working directory. Make sure that's not the Windows System 32. And if you see all that stuff, then your RLM is installed. There's no licenses here yet. That'll be uh, the topic of my next video. So good luck.